What would you change if you were given the chance to go back in time? Would you want to catch a glimpse of the dinosaurs? Or would you go back to see how the pyramids were really built? Or even perhaps warn your previous self of the upcoming pandemic? As far-fetched as traveling back in time may be, looking back in time is a relatively common thing among astronomers. The James Webb Space Telescope has been fetching us fantastic views of the cosmos all the way back from the beginning of time, dating back to as far as 13 billion years ago. But how can we look back into the past? And what exactly have we found? We don't have time-traveling cars just as yet, but what astronomers do have is the world's most advanced observatory orbiting the Sun at a distance of around 1 million miles from the Earth. Now, as we've come to understand over time that our universe is bound by the rules of physics, with one of the best-known rules being the speed of light. When we talk about light here, we're actually referring to all the wavelengths across the electromagnetic spectrum, which travel at an incredible 300,000 kilometers per second. We've kind of taken light for granted, so much so that it appears to be instantaneous and Considering that our eyes can't really tell how fast light goes, it makes no sense that we do. Even at these blistering speeds, it still takes some time to travel anywhere across the cosmos. If you already didn't know, the universe is a really, really big place. When you look at the moon, you actually see it as it was 1.3 seconds ago. It's only a tiny peak back in time, but it's technically still the past. It's the same with sunlight, except the photons or light particles emitted from the sun's surface travel just over 8 minutes before they finally reach Earth. Pretty cool, right? Our galaxy, the Milky Way, spans over 100,000 light years. That's light travelled over the span of a year. If you were wondering how much that could be, well, that's about 9.46 trillion kilometers, or 5.88 trillion miles. Yep, you heard that right. One light year is 9.46 trillion kilometers, and the Milky Way spans over 100,000 of those. The JWST's image recently released on the 12th of July of the beautiful newborn stars seen in Carina Nebula are around 7,500 light years away. To put that in perspective, this nebula, as pictured, is from a time roughly 2,000 years earlier than when the first ever writing is thought to have been invented in ancient Mesopotamia. Whenever we look away from the Earth, we're looking back in time to how things once were. Astronomers kind of have superpowers that way because we can use light as observed throughout time to try and piece together the mysteries of our universe. When scientists began working on the JWST over two decades ago, one of the mission's primary goals was to see the first galaxies in the universe. These galaxies are so far away that their light takes billions of years to travel to the Earth. They are literally cosmic relics preserved in our view exactly as they looked near the beginning of the universe when the lights now reaching Earth first left the distant galaxies. No one knows for sure what these relics will look like. Web scientists can't wait to find out and I'm pretty sure we can't either. The JWST will be able to reveal these galaxies for the first time because of its incredible sensitivity and its ability to see in infrared light. Let's picture the universe as it was back then. Now, as light streamed out of those stars and began traversing space, the universe gradually expanded around those stars, making any given star much more distant from Earth today than it was eons ago. As a star became more distant, the wave pattern of its light stretched, somewhat like a slinky lengthening the wavelengths of light in a phenomenon astronomers call redshift. For those of you who don't know, redshifts are wavelengths we humans see as a blue light stretched to redder light and wavelengths of visible light stretched to infrared light. Us humans, we can't see infrared light and neither can telescopes like our veteran observatory, the Hubble Space Telescope. 
The web, though, can see old starlight that has been redshifted so far that it has become infrared. Danko, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, said, Webb goes to longer wavelengths than we can see before with Hubble, so we're able to see farther back in time. We're also able to see the full picture of these early galaxies. That's because Webb is larger and more sensitive than Hubble, enabling it to detect very faint light and making it even better suited to studying the most distant galaxies. Webb's cameras went far back into the past. Another image from the 12th of July presentation contained a glimpse of the galactic cluster known as SMACS 0723, within which thousands of galaxies, some of which are as far away as 13.1 billion light years, can be seen. Since light takes a long time to travel so far, we see these galaxies not as they look today, but as they looked 13.1 billion years ago. The bluer galaxies are more mature ones, containing many stars and little dust. The redder galaxies contain more dust from which stars are still forming. Scientists think that the earliest galaxies might be much smaller and more chaotic than modern galaxies. The small, disorganized clusters of stars merge to form more complex shapes, such as our Milky Way spiral, the theory goes, and the collisions could have triggered new star births. With the use of the JWST, these extremely distant galaxies can be captured as they were only 100 million years after the Big Bang. These views will show us light from 13.7 billion years ago. Where the conundrum lies, is that those galaxies are not 13.7 billion light years away. The actual distance to those galaxies today would be around 46 billion light years. This brain-melting inconsistency is all thanks to the expanding universe and makes working on a very large scale tricky. The universe is expanding due to something called dark energy. It's thought to be a universal constant, acting equally in all areas of space-time, the very fabric of our universe. The more the universe expands, the greater the effect dark energy has on its expansion. This is why, even though the universe is 13.8 billion years old, it's actually about 93 billion light-years across. We can't see the effect of dark energy on a galactic scale within our galaxy, the Milky Way. But we can see a whole lot more of it at much greater distances. Webb's first deep field image, which was released on July the 12th, gave us breathtaking views of galaxies and objects from more than 13 billion years ago. Now, two new images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have surfaced showing us what may be among the earliest galaxies ever observed. They offer a much wider field of view than Webb's first deep field image. The images represent some of the first out of a major collaboration of astronomers and other academic researchers teaming with NASA and global partners to uncover new insights about the universe. The team behind the observations has identified one particularly exciting object, dubbed Maisie's Galaxy, in honor of project head Stephen Finkelstein's daughter, and they estimate is being observed as it was just 290 million years after the Big Bang. The findings have been published on the preprint server ArcSiv and are awaiting confirmations. If it is confirmed, it would be one of the earliest galaxies ever observed, and its presence would indicate that galaxies started forming much earlier than previously thought. L. Y. Aaron Young, who worked on the project as a visiting research scholar at Flatteron Institute Center for Computational Astrophysics, or CCA, in New York City, and a postdoctoral fellow at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said in a statement, with Webb, we're looking at a part of the universe we've never seen before, even with Hubble. Such early galaxies change our understanding of how galaxies form and the universe's history. 
The incredibly sharp images reveal numerous complex galaxies evolving over time. Some distinguished mature pinwheels, others children compared to them, with several other forms and shapes. The images, which took about 24 hours to collect, are from a patch of sky near the handle of the Big Dipper, a constellation formerly named Ursa Major. This same area of sky was observed previously by the Hubble Space Telescope. Finkelstein, Associate Professor of Astronomy at the University of Texas at Austin and the Principal Investigator for the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, or CEERS, from which these images were taken, said, It's amazing to see a point of light from Hubble turn into a whole beautifully shaped galaxy in these new James Webb images and other galaxies just pop up out of nowhere. In these new observations of early galaxies, theorists will use simulations to extract information about the physical processes shaping the galaxy's evolution and create predictions for future observations. L.Y. Aaron Young further added, One thing we still don't really understand is how they form so quickly. They're only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, but from what we understand, galaxies take a lot longer to form. The fact that we're seeing so many galaxies that early with such little data, then there might be a lot more galaxies out there than we predicted. So, what do you think? What more will the web find out with these distant galaxies? What really happened back then and secretly lingers in the universe's dark past? Let us know in the comments below and, as always, thanks for watching Space Age.